problems. So when we are dealing with <coughs> pediatric problems, the first person you have to deal with is the mother, right? Or the parents or the relatives, you know. So uh, I would like to share with you, you know, what experiences we over a period of time. Uh, somewhere in 1996, uh, you all must have heard of Dr. Ram Subramanian, right? So he had converted his practice. He was a leading pediatrician at that time. <clears throat> he had malaria and uh, he had taken chloroquine anti-malarial medicine. So because of which he had tinnitus. So for a month, he could not get up from the bed because the moment he would stand up, he would get a giddiness. So he did not get any relief with all the medicines which he did. Somebody gave him one dose of homeopathic medicine. One dose. Huh? For a month, he was lying horizontal. And with one dose, he became completely all right. So he was convinced that homeopathy has got something really relevant. Because a single dose may itna thik hua to wo placebo nahi hai. Because Ajkal ka most common thing is that it is placebo. So since he was a doctor, he was able to realize that it was not a placebo effect. So then he got convinced and then he converted himself into a homeopath. He came under us for training and then he converted his 25 minute hospital, pediatric hospital to homeopathy. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time when we had a direct access to an IPD unit. See in pediatrics what is very important is that you should have an access to IPD unit where you have a pediatrician who is cooperating with you. This is a very important part where we homeopaths will be able to show the role of and scope of homeopathy. And you need to have a pediatrician who is not biased. Follow? Because in pediatrics, we have to remember that we have very least, less time to be able to demonstrate the results. Right? We will come to know why all these factors are there. Because we have to change our mind shift from treating an adult to a child. Right? So there are certain very important concepts which are involved while we are dealing with a child. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I think all of us will realize that we are very good parents till we actually have our own child. Okay. As physician, we will sit in the chair and whatever parents come, we will advise, aisa mat karo, aisa mat karo, aisa mat karo. Correct? But when our own child comes, then the scene totally changes. So I will just share a small experience. My elder daughter was 8 months old. So this I am talking about 91-92. And she developed pneumonia. It was a big patch and 104, 105 fever. My wife is also a homeopath. Right? But that time she said that I am her mother. You treat her. So, we now, I, as a homeopath, we started treating her and then we took an x-ray, there was a big patch in the chest. The radiologist said that, bada patch hai, antibiotic chalo par. We were treating the child, correct? So, the fever was fluctuating, the medicines was being given, the fever was fluctuating. So, we full pressure on whom? Father. <laughs> Is he a father at that time? What is he at that time? Doctor as well as father. So, doctor as well as father. So, this dual role is a lot of edge. It is much sharper than how you know, the husband and wife is in the middle of the house. It is a sharp role. Hai. So, wo kab, the wife used to be doctor and husband. So, it is very interesting. So, somehow we were able to manage that fever. The fever was fluctuating. We were giving the in, acute medicine. It was helping, but for some time. And then our important, what Hahnemann said, when the best indicated medicine fails to act, there is some miasmatic block. Ek dose of anti-miasmatic dia, 100 and jo fever 104, 105, 104, 105 se fluctuate ho tha, was steadily decline hua. So we could see beautifully how intercurrent medicine is necessary in acute. So within a week, the child got cleared. We took a repeat X-ray. The radiologist was surprised. He said, "Oi, bacha hai ya dusra bacha hai?" So 
homeopathy in acutes you will get confident once you have treated your own children why i am sharing this is till that time now you are not tested till that time you can always say that theek ho jayega don't worry follow if you if the results are there they will stick with you otherwise they will switch over to a pediatrician but your test one has to go through when dealing with pediatrics is that you should be able to have the conviction from within and that you will see when you have actually experienced this sort of a cases were there so let's go to scope of pediatric <coughs> homeopathy in pediatric gastroenterology see what hanneman says basically is that to elevate the suffering sick individual homeopath needs to study him from all these points of view first whenever you approach these topics symptomatology is very important because the patient comes to you with symptoms he does not come to you with a label that i am having so and so diagnosis he comes with one two three four symptoms and signs and you have to integrate them and to make a diagnosis so you need to study the individual from all these angles symptomatology diagnosis then correlation between what is happening at the pathology level this you need to make miasm susceptibility mental state physical constitution etc and arrive at the totality by process of analysis and synthesis so a homeopath who uses his knowledge of homeopathic materia medica repertory and philosophy in an integrated way see we all would be uh, having see we all have studied materia medica philosophy repertory but we need to know how when a case comes how do we apply the various knowledges this application is very important so we will try to make our presentations today most more, more on application based there will be a part of theory there will be a case we will try to link theory and practice and see how this link can be made yeah it is also important we understand the scope and limitations of our selves what do we mean by scope and limitation of our self hum to homeopath hai or anything under the sun we will manage the common you know idea what we have what i mean by this is that as a homeopathic physician we should be aware if we look at this topic of pediatric gastroenterology that we are not pediatricians follow those who are constantly day in and day out exposed to seeing children and examining children they will have a different skill than we as homeopaths this limitation we should accept because unless see in in children and in pediatrics the knowledge keeps on evaporating every day so unless you are constantly in touch it is not possible for you to remember so many things there are so many formulas so many calculations which you have to do based on uh, kilogram weight of the baby for the medicines and all that so that knowledge is something which we can keeps on changing there are some basic knowledges which we know which we should always know about children and there are some things which will keep you operating which we need to take the assistance of a pediatrician so this limitation we should be clear okay, that this is my limitation and my for that i will outsource my problem this we have to be having a proper attitude if you feel that you are not able to understand what is the clinical problem in the child no harm in getting an opinion if you have the confidence of the mother or the parents you can always tell i feel that i need an opinion so that i know i am not missing something because in pediatric age group if you lose time 